Hello everyone, it is Saturday, March 20th, 2010, and you are watching the Viral Vlog Show. So, the quest for immortality has been the driving force of many historical figures. People like Cortez, and Hitler, and Lord Voldemort. I want to put this as delicately as I can. We have all been pwned by a 3 millimeter long jellyfish. Nothing. I call him Ernie. It's a vlog, it's a show, everybody don't you know it's the viral vlog show. Yeah. Yeah, so I was surfing the web the other day and I came across this article entitled Meet the World's Only Immortal Animal. So naturally, I just had to read it. After I read the article, I did a little bit more research on this immortal jellyfish and found out that Ernie can indeed live forever, as long as he isn't eaten by one of those terrifying jellyfish. Anyways, this caused me to think, is Ernie the perfect family pet? I mean, he's low maintenance, doesn't take up much space, and he'll be in the family for the rest of eternity. Sure, he's not that fun to watch, but you only have to buy him once. Ernie the jellyfish, he'll outlive your grandchildren, guaranteed. Wink. So, you may have heard about the war scare in Georgia about a week ago. I found an article about it. The title reads, Panic Follows Fake Russian Invasion on Georgian TV. So, pretty much this whole thing started last Saturday night when a Georgian news channel called iMedi TV broadcast a fake news segment involving Russian troops invading Georgia's capital. Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili being assassinated and Barack Obama condemning Russia's attacks on Georgia. Now, the people in Georgia started freaking out. The article reports that cell phone networks crashed, grocery store shelves were empty, and the emergency services were flooded with a rash of heart attacks. Of course, all was well and good when I Many TV came out and revealed that the news segment was fake, and it was intended to show what the worst day in Georgian history might look like. So, the subtitle of this article pretty much sums up the entire situation. Station failed to sufficiently highlight segment wasn't real. This is Russia's take on the whole fiasco. Three words, irresponsible and immoral. Lack of common sense. That's what I think I made TV showed, a lack of common sense. Now. This incident wouldn't nearly have been as big of a problem as it was had it not been for the 2008 Russian invasion of Georgia, which was still pretty fresh in people's minds. People thought it was happening again. That's probably why they freaked out. I agree with Russia on this one. I mean, TV's actions were irresponsible and immoral. They threw people into a panic. Cell phone networks crashed. People had heart attacks. People were pretty much preparing for World War Three. Then I Made a TV comes out and says, "Oh, silly us! Sorry about that. And that was actually um not real. <laughs> so you know, no need to worry. Oh, that just makes everything sunshine and daisies now, doesn't it? No." Nope. I don't think so. Alright, it's time for the question of the day. What do you think of this whole fiasco? Do you think iMedi TV was irresponsible in the way they handled this whole fake invasion TV segment thing? Or do you think it was simply just a matter of miscommunication coupled with the 2008 Russian invasion thing still being fresh in people's minds? So, that's all I have for today. Remember, rate, subscribe, comment. Alright, thanks everyone, I'm out.